Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games and in today's tutorial we are going to make a gazebo similar to this one because this is the only one I made so far and so this is the one that I at least know how to and I want to give you a kind of a general idea um, but for the sake of time instead of using beams uh, we might use just um, some art, pa art shapes and stuff like that but we're going to make something that looks like this. So if we go to a different part of the park that's not being used yet, um, and we the key is you just want to get a flat ride. So whatever flat ride it is, like this is one of the longer, larger ones, so this is going to take a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so let's say, let's say this right here. Okay, and then you also have to count for, do you want the pathing to also be inside and so forth. So... Um, you know, you got to keep that in mind. Like, for example, if you wanted the, let's say, um, and then place exit. Let's say we put the the exit right here. Yeah, I'm just kind of making this up as we go. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to take the... Why is it doing this? Hold on. Oh, I was on the wrong thing. Oops. Um, angle snap off. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Just for a sake of time, I'm trying to get this all the way around the carousel, or not carousel, whatever these teacups things are. I guess they're called teacups. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, ultimately, whatever you want to do with the queue, it's up to you. This is way too long of a queue for this type of ride, but I'm just trying to show you the general gist and idea of this um so you could have like let's say you got the entrance right there so the key that you need to do first is you need to place this on a grid because everything the key is you need that center piece because i'm sure all of you realize at this point when you move stuff that's not on a grid like if you're advanced rotate what it does is it moves everything around the center of um the center of wherever you're looking at. like for example take this coaster for example right if if i wanted to um if i shut it down and i wanted to move the coaster it takes me to the center point of the ride so that's kind of the key is um everything whenever you're advanced moving it takes you to like the center of whether whatever that building set is or um, the ride. So what you need to do is we want to create something that's on an actual grid. So I'm going to take this post right here and I want to place this in the center of this teacup because what this is doing is this is going to allow us to use that as the center. Okay. Um, and then now I'm just going to have this go up a little bit to where I think I roughly want the height to be. So now the key is I need to kind of create um, figure out what I want this to look like. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, it really is up to you. You can use these. I like using, at least for the one I did, and like I said, I've only made one of these, so I'm not an expert on this, but I did have a couple people reach out and say they would love to hear, um, love to see a tutorial on this. So let's see. Why is it not sticking to the building? There we go. All right. So now that that's there, We need to figure out, okay, what do we want our angle to kind of look like with this, right? Is if everything's going to be the center. So, you know, probably about that height. So I think that's probably actually good degrees. So I'm going to move this up right here. And I'll move this directly to the center. So what I'm doing here is I am kind of creating what, I, what ultimately this kind of, this is going to look like, right? So now what I need to do is I need to, and bear with me as I do this because this is only my second time doing this, so hopefully hopefully I get it right. Um, so now we need to, actually, you know what? I did that incorrectly. So what you need to do is copy, and the key is you need to copy that um, post with it. So what we're doing now is we can then now copy that building, and it keeps it on the same grid and allows us just to move it. And so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to find, because I want to I have this in eighths. 
So basically what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm kind of creating ultimately what this, um, what this is going to look like. Okay. So now what I do is I get out of that. And the key is now, since we have, um, have it going on both sides and this is the exact center of the building, if I advance move it, I can then turn this however many degrees I want. Like you could do it 15 degrees and you could have those. So like in theory, you could do that. Um, then you could have, oops, hold on. And you could do that again and so forth. So we could do this as many times as we wanted, basically. Why do I keep doing that? Um, yeah, and so forth, right? So you could keep doing that and you could just have it kind of be smaller. Um, ultimately, it's really up to you. Um, but yeah, and so like, for example, if we didn't have this, so like, let's just say we had this and I wanted to advance and move it. You see how it's, it's not turning. Actually, sorry, let me get out of what I was trying to do. If, if we don't have that building piece, if we we're just trying to advance, and move that. You see how it's, it's not necessarily, I mean, it is, it's technically going around that center. So then I could really just go back this way, but even then you see how it's kind of messed up with the, um, the direction it's going, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's why we have to do this. So now what you can do is you can take that and I'm going to do 45. So it's just going to be a little bit easier this time. So this is ultimately what the kind of structural component of this is going to be. So now what I can do is I can delete everything except for this one piece right here. Is all that I need is I need to have essentially this part here left because I need to be able to see, okay, what do I need to keep and so forth. Um, is I need kind of an outline for what I want this to look like. Now, this is the toughest part, in my opinion, because the toughest part is figuring out, okay, how can we get kind of a nice kind of look from here to there, right? And so, at least if I remember correctly, this is... Um, as I said, this is the trickiest part. So it's kind of figuring out, okay, what kind of, how do I want this piece to look? Do I want it to just kind of carry over from here, right? Because if we look at this direction, obviously that's not, not going to reach there. So we got to turn this off and it's about trying to find, and even if you do something like that, like that's going in the right direction, but it's way above, right? We can try to see, yeah, and see that's also a little bit off. And so it's trying to figure out, okay, this is, I need to mess with the height of it as well. And I would love to hear y'all's opinions too. Um, do you have another way of doing this if you have made one of these? Because I am, as I say a lot of times, I am by no means trying to pretend like I'm an expert on this. So I definitely am not. I just wanted to create one of these. And so you can see that's also not quite level because we are going up above it. So let's try to level this out a little bit more still not quite there yeah so that's pretty good so now what I do is I'm going to figure out okay where do I want this to end so it'd be roughly right there And then I'm just going to copy it over. Okay, so that's on that one. Okay, so this is the one that ultimately will be deleting. So now the next part is actually filling in this triangle. Okay, and you can also put some lights here, hang some lights. So like, for example, with lighting, you know, do you want to hang the fairy tale lights? So do you want to have these kind of lights hanging on your, hanging on there? I know what I did on the one over there, and Jasmine, a good deal for this. You could, um, I think I hung these lanterns, yeah, and so I just did something like, but the key is you'll want to make sure that they're basically right at the end of that. 
So you could just hang these things like here. And so there's a little cross over there. So let's see if we can try to figure out a way to make this not cross over. Eh, it's not perfect, but it'll it'll do for what we're trying to work on. Um, so now you, what you can do is you can take the beams. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I want to try something different than beams because I know I did beams last time, and when I, the beams I used were just just these type. And so the key is you know getting this level here, or it's more about getting it level this way, and um, just to kind of figure out the degree to which it's inclining. And you kind of move it going up. But let's try let's try something different. If y'all will appease me with this, let's uh just because I wonder how this is gonna look too. So this is more about the the look of it. Alright, so if we take this and let's color this, I don't really go with grays, like a dark gray. So what we can do, and I'm just going to actually leave it, let's see if we, yeah, and so as you can see, there's a couple spots that might not um, be covered using these larger ones so I'm going to have to move to some smaller ones and potentially move to triangles but we'll see um, but now the issue with this one might end up being and so yeah you can see the um, you know what for the sake of this that might be a little bit tougher let's just go with beams for a second um now the question is like what kind of beams do you want to use, right? You could use these, the, these right here. Um, you could also use wooden pillars. So let's use wooden pillars just because this is something different than what I did last time. So it'd be a little bit, a little bit fun to do something different. So let's see. This is gonna. So we got these wooden beams. Now, the key is though, is we need to have it kind of increasing at the same trajectory or the same degree and so I'm going to try to get this to be roughly the same degree okay so now it's really up to you on how you want to make this but oh I just thought of something real quick hold on so it's really about do you want it to be like a complete like you know, so you could do something like this, and you can kind of move them, right? That kind of thing. Or I just thought of this because I want to try this real quick. Um, we could use, and I know this is going to take a piece count right now, but this is more just about, um, more about not having to use, actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll, uh. We'll use these. So let's change this to, sorry, I'm kind of changing as I go. Um, as I said, this is only my second time to do this. So it's a learning process. But then the issue now, like I said before, is we need to figure out the trajectory, or the, why do I keep saying trajectory? I'm a math teacher. I should, I should know this is the do the degree of elevation um so what's the degree okay so that looks pretty close that'll do so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to actually so like i said what i want to try to do differently this time is I want to actually cover the entire thing just to see kind of how what that look has with it because I had it kind of spaced out but we can actually cover this entire thing and 
and the reason I'm using the two meter is because we're going to get to a point where it's um, it's a little bit trickier, right? And as you can see, I didn't actually go far enough up there, but I'm not worried about it at this point. Yeah, and so this is um, this part's a little more tedious, right? Um, now, one thing you could do as well, if you really wanted to, to kind of distinguish it, because I've seen a lot of, especially watching some PC players, I've seen them do this, is they'll slightly raise it. To kind of create that um, a little bit of a different look to it. And you can also change stuff different colors. Now we're going up here. And then we'll slightly lower that. And now the, the negative with this though is. And now it could be wrong. But we can check and see in a second. But sometimes when you group stuff. Um. It, and then you try to copy and paste it and move it. It doesn't allow you to slide with the degree to which it's inclining. So let me see if this works. Yeah, so it's only moving horizontally. So what I could try to do is I could do that till I know that. I could do something like this and then I'll come back at the end and yeah, but just, so as you can see, we're having to fill all this spot up. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to complete this on my own real quick. And then I'll show you what it's like when we've got this, this spot done. All right. So that took a while. And as you can see. Oh, no. Hold on. Sorry. So as you can see, it wasn't quite at the same degree because... All of these kind of change a little bit. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to highlight everything. And I had it highlighted, but I think the uh, it's not gonna, this might not be perfect because um, since these are all going to different angles, it kind of messes with the um, you know kind of messes with the angle degrees and stuff. And so what I want to do is I just want to. Yeah, so you can see it's kind of messing with it just a tad bit. And that's still below it, so what I need to do is I need to raise it up some more. kind of hard to see with this going through the I mean for the sake of what we're doing uh, let's see let's see if I can it's not quite doing what I want it to do there we go all right, so basically I'm trying to just make sure everything's there we go I think that's good and so what I did was I just kind of raised some of them lowered some of them you can see it's not perfect like I was trying to get this done pretty quick but yeah so now we have one fourth of the side and as you can see this is all this portion so now what we need to do is we need to take that part and delete that you know what So basically, I, I made the mistake of that is not actually attached to that other building. So what I need to do now is I'm going to actually attach this to that grid piece, add scenery to building. And then now, you can see, you can so, so look at this, if I just click on this as a whole, if I just click on this scenery piece as a whole, and I go like this. I mean, that could work, but if I were to copy this, 
it's not actually on the grid, right? So what I need to do is I need to actually get the grid open. But one other thing I thought about that we could do first is we can actually Now, if you want to keep it like this, or if you want to slightly turn it to kind of match the, since, you know, it's not, obviously not a square rectangular building. So you could do something like this. You could even raise it up a little bit to kind of create that edge, which I actually kind of like that raised up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so now what we're going to do is we need to highlight everything in the building, even that grid piece. So then, as you can see, that's a lot of pieces, but it's going to be worth it just for the look of this. So now I'm going to lower it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this. So now you can see how it's kind of coming together. And we've got four of those so now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna exit out of the building and this is really cool in my opinion so then i'm gonna advance move it and let's just turn it to 15 so we can just see the how cool this looks so now so now we have ourselves this gazebo and as you can see um some of those are kind of poking through um so if you needed to you could probably go through and extend all those out a little bit um, so that's it's kind of hard that part of getting that degree, um, getting that part perfect. But yeah, so here is the custom gazebo that we made. Now, one thing too that Jasmine, so I think it's kind of cool with it kind of the look of that at the top portion. Um, but one thing that Jasmine had mentioned was I think it's in here. Let's see. No, it wouldn't be wall decorations. Is it roof decorations? Oh, where is that at? Windows, doors. It's where is that? Where do they have the spires at? Here we are. Okay. Let's get out of that camera mode. So let's get this flat. And so now we could kind of color this the if we were to kind of yeah. So we'll do that and then. No, that's a weird brown. But yeah, you guys get the point. You color it whatever you want to color that. And then, yeah, so now we've got... So now we've got our gazebo. And it goes exactly outside of the queue which is i mean that is that's perfect but yeah so now when you're inside you place the lights you do what you need to do um, if you look at the one that i made over here it's a little bit different a little bit less than the piece count because we have this portion and here at the top i had to do that now one thing that i didn't do a great job of here <gasps> what did i delete oh well i'm not saving this anyways so um I somehow deleted all this pathing here, or the, the pieces that were on the ground. Um, but yeah, one thing that I didn't do is you can see how kind of the queue is. I didn't do a good job of making the queue, and then I had to account uh, making the queue beforehand. I had to try to account for that, and so that kind of got a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, so that's what uh, this is how you make a gazebo. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and if you if anybody's done this, like I said, this is just a basic one. I haven't done a real fancy one before. I mean, you can obviously create stuff where stuff's hanging down here, um, kind of a nice border. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. And I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day.